What's going on, YouTube family, friends, subscribers, fans, whoever you are? Uh, it's Sandy coming to you from, well, my car. And I'm actually currently in Yuma, Arizona, approaching the border to California and San Diego, where my sister lives. And I'm going to stay with her tonight and tomorrow night. And then Saturday morning, I'm going to drive up through LA. Uh, to get to Sebastopol where my mom and dad live. Uh, today was a bit of a scramble to get all my stuff into the car and try to leave on time. I definitely did not leave on time, but that's okay because I'm on the road now and I have everything I need, I hope, and I have my cat and you might hear her. Oh, you can see her in the background there. What's going on, Snow? She's pretty spooked, like she's never been in a moving car and free like she is right now. So I think she's pretty much just terrified, but uh, that's okay. She'll get used to it. There's no other way I had to bring her with. So that's been uh, pretty interesting. Um, let's see. As I was driving, I was thinking, oh, I should record a video because I'm not going to want to do it later when I get in because I'm going to be exhausted. Uh, so I figured that I would... Uh, lay something down for you all and myself here while I'm driving uh, because no offense but there's not a whole lot to look at out here between Tucson and San Diego so I figured I may as well talk to y'all for a little bit and uh, I don't know share some of my thoughts and hopefully the cat doesn't interrupt me too many times I'm also not gonna look at the camera too much I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road as I should actually what I'm doing may or may not be illegal so, anyways, um, as always, I hope you're all doing well out there. I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble. And I don't even know what week of Thoughtful Thursday this is today, but I've been at this for some time making these Thursday talk videos, and I enjoy it. Um, I also think I'm getting better at talking to the camera and uh, speaking more directly and having to make fewer edits in my video editing which uh, saves me time and also makes I think the video more authentic more real for the viewer if you care um, so today as I'm driving with all of these musical instruments behind me and the cat hopefully she doesn't try to make her way down here um, <laughs> Her paws are on my chair. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty cute. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a uh, balance, uh, balance in life, and in musical endeavors specifically, finding a way to be balanced in other aspects of one's life. So I think as musicians and as creative people, you know, whatever your field of interest and expertise and your choice, uh, whatever your field of choice is, I should say, I think it can be, it can be easy to feel like if you're not doing that thing, you're losing time. Like for me, I think that if I'm not making music in some capacity, time's a waste and, and I am not improving in my craft. And I think that while that is true, the last couple days, I've spent several long, lonely hours in the studio uh, mixing music, trying to finish a song that I think is done, that I've been listening to, that may be my finest work yet in its simplicity. Uh, and as soon as I release that tune, you guys will be among the first to know about it. You guys, as in my 21 subscribers. So hopefully it will grow, but if it doesn't, that's okay too. Um, and I was just feeling really pretty burned out uh, and spent in that activity of um, spending so much time on music, spending my whole day essentially. Uh, recording, editing, and then working on a little song video for this tune that 
hopefully we'll be out soon. And while I feel accomplished in the work that I did, I think I probably could have split my time up a little more evenly and had a little, and had a more well-rounded day. And that's really what I'm, what I mean when I'm to say that I'm talking about balance today is uh, being a well-rounded person and living a well-rounded life, which consists of well-rounded days, as in a day where you don't just do music, a day where. Maybe you throw in something else that you like to do. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of things that I like to do. Um, and that make me feel good and that strengthen my, uh, let's see, that give me energy and strengthen my, uh, my good qualities. Uh, and they're all, all these things that I like to do, like, I don't know, hiking in nature or riding my bicycle, even going to the grocery store knows, uh, cleaning up an area in your house or your car or something, things like that, that like, that aren't always like leisure or recreational, uh, but make you feel good. That's what I'm thinking that I need more of. So as I head up to California and plan to spend, you know, the next several weeks, um, focusing and working on music. I'm also going to focus on having well-rounded days. Oh yeah, exercise. Exercise is a big one. Uh, I've actually been, that part of my life has been suffering a little bit because I've been uh, well preparing for this uh, this trip and focusing on trying to make some music before I go. This guy's going to pass me and there's people in front on the right side too. Calm down. Um, I guess what I'm saying is that I plan to create a bunch of music and be focused uh, when I head up there, once I get there on Saturday. I also plan to see a bunch of buddies, to ride my bicycle, which is also in the back, maybe to play some gigs, maybe to just go and listen to some music, like some open mics, or uh, I'm not sure. And also just go out and be a normal person. I'm going to do all those things. Um, so this is a lesson for those of you that maybe think that you have to spend every waking hour on your craft. And in, I think in some fields that makes sense. But I think in terms of being a musician and a creative person, I think that it helps to do a lot of different things. And share yourself doing those things with your audience or your fans or in my case you know my friends and family and close acquaintances because I think people like to see that you have a well-rounded life as a they don't always just want to see you doing music releasing music playing shows whatever they want to see you doing other things um, I don't know cooking your dinner whatever it might be and I struggle with this too because I don't really want to have the phone camera out all the time as I'm doing things, as I'm going about my day. But I'm starting to wonder if that would help me, if that would help my following, etc. Uh, if I could spend more time sharing with my social media followers and people that I know things that I'm doing that are not music. Because I think it can be a little bit one-dimensional sometimes, and it strikes me that in this day and age, people want to know more about who you are as a person, the life you lead, however glamorous, in addition to knowing about your music and songs and uh, playing instruments and the other things that I feel like I had gotten a little bit um, narrow-minded in my thinking. So not only will this help my social media following and my persona as an artist and a human being generally, I think, I believe that it will also help me find happiness in my days because I don't have to spend five hours alone in the music studio if I don't want to. If I want to, I can spend two 
and go spend the other three out with friends or working out or taking care of myself in another way, cooking, cleaning, um, maybe doing something completely different, maybe learning something new, reading a book even. So um, this is just a thought I've had today that I realized like, man, that would probably make me more interesting to other people, which I know is not always the goal, but let's be honest, that's kind of what we're doing here, trying to be, trying to provide value to people, to lead an interesting life and share it with people, um, but it would also make me happier to live a balanced, well-rounded life, like the one that I am describing to you. So, moving forward, I'm going to create music, accomplish music, spend good hours honing my craft, working on tunes, uh, doing loops and rehearsing, etc. And I'm also going to sprinkle in salt and pepper, some other flavors, um, and some other activities that will bring me joy in a different way. And uh, I would advise you, whoever you are, to try the same. If you have the time, if you have the energy, and you have the space in your day, do something other than that thing that you think you have to be doing. Because I think sometimes these other things, these other activities, can feed and fuel um, creative endeavors like music or art or printmaking or lyricism or writing, whatever it might be. How can you have anything to write about if you don't have any experiences? Just a, a, an interesting question. I think something that a lot of people would... Uh, would understand and agree with. So that's a long ramble, and that ate up about 12 minutes of my uh, my journey coming to the end of Yuma, beautiful city, and headed towards El Centro. San Diego, I'll see you in probably two and a half hours. And for you, my good people, I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, I hope you're all happy, healthy, and humble. And I hope you're taking good care of yourself and living a well-balanced life, as well-balanced as you can make it. Until next week, peace, everybody.